Hey guys, welcome back. Last video we learned about buttons and the events triggered when it got clicked. And in this case, for the calculator we have here, we have a lot of these buttons, right? So, I don't want to create the whole calculator right now. However, I want to talk about this button and go one step further. So for now, we're just going to talk about this grid part, which has our numbers from 1, well, it's from 0 to 9, plus the dot, okay? Whenever you press one of those, this text field called display field should have one value added to it, all right? So basically concatenate the string with the value clicked on. Now, so what we're going to do, we're going to start doing at least 7, 8, 9, and then we're going to see how we could optimize it to do all of them without doing all this gibbering and writing for no reason. And so let's try it start writing it so we need to have three four seven eight nine okay so we're gonna do <clears throat> public I can't spell public void I really can't spell all right there we go void um, seven click seven okay and we need to pass it the view V and what else so if I know by buttons on the Mac, this should be shift. No, it's, uh, I think it's just alt enter. There we go. That's alt enter. Anyway, so you need to import the library for the view. And when number seven gets clicked, we want to concatenate the string seven to my display field there. So, um, Oh man, I didn't do a video about connections, so we'll do that in a couple seconds later. For now, what we're gonna do is set. Um, so we're gonna set a edit text. So we're gonna create an edit text here. We're gonna create an edit text. This is my display. And we're gonna make the connection right here where we say display equals get um, get view ah, I never remember these things view find view by ID there we go I love Intel since makes your life easier so to get the view we're gonna do r dot get it by ID and we know our resource layout is what's connected currently this is the view that's connected to us so r dot ID and we get the display field and that's all we need You'll notice it tells you, hey, this is not the correct type. We're just going to typecast it to a edit text. We'll talk about this later on. And over here, we're just going to say, hey, display text dot. This is edit text. It's not text itself. It's not a string, right? So we can't just make it equal to something. So we need to access the objects, uh, either get text or set text or etc. Let's see what we have. I don't remember what's the greatest thing we could use. There's a set text, which is great. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, append sounds pretty good. So we're going to append the letter 7. All right. And we're just going to copy this three times. All right. So over here it would be 9 and over here would be what happened here and over here would be 8 so 7 8 9 gets clicked we also need to go on our activity now uh, last video we did it by text which is amazing and I would always suggest it but the IntelliSense is also here too so we're just gonna do it this time here just to make you guys know the difference or be able to see that there's two ways to doing it it's always is so having the seven selected we're gonna go on the on click and if we did it correctly we should see inside this drop down the functions that have the current correct signature so seven eight and nine oh we see I forgot to do something where here we concatenate eight over here we concatenate nine so let's just run this super quick I'm gonna run it on my Nexus 1 to make it fast 
Macs are pretty slow. Uh, what? Well, it's a laptop, you know. Okay, so having our stuff, it kind of looks weird because we didn't design it for Nexus One, but it's still doing the job, so we're gonna leave it be. So clicking seven, we get a huge error. <laughs> clicking seven, we get a huge error. What the hell just happened? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So display dot set text. See if that works. And if not, I'm gonna check the error and then I'm gonna redo the video for you guys. But I think you restart it, right? Press seven. Something happened. Restart it one more time. Just to make sure. Oh wait, why is this not highlighted? Click seven is never used. What are you talking about? Click seven seems to be used. Click seven. Um, let's select the button. Click seven main activity right there. It's perfect. Let's see what's going on. If I delete this and we're gonna just re add it on click, click seven. It's interesting how he does click seven, but here it says, ah, I added some extra text to it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna just rerun this super quick. If the quick run goes well, press seven, seven pops up, sweet, eight pops up, nine pops up. So yeah, so I don't use the GUI much, uh, only for a specific, uh, this thing is not going away. So the design part, see how here he kind of messed up actually even you could see there's like two which is really weird and I don't know what kind of issue he gets from that so that's why I always suggest for you guys to always use it from here and you'll notice that the IntelliSense here is much better as you just as you guys just saw and um, less issues right so anyway the problem here is we're getting this to go however there's an issue uh, by the way, the 7, I set it to set text, not knowing what the error was. So let's just change this back to append. Right? If you set the text, it's going to change it. If you append it, it's going to add to whatever it was. So now the issue is, I hate repetition. Right? So this is fine for 7, 8, 9. It's three, uh, it's three times the buttons with just a tiny bit of difference. But you notice that they're all the same seven eight nine they're all doing the same crap except we're being forced to create three lines or four lines for each of them now to fix this issue this is where the view comes in the view that's being passed to this uh, function now the signature of a button or the click event is made in a way where it tells you what actually got clicked so what actually got clicked will be passed in to the parameter as view well in this case the variable name is going to be v and that's going to tell me well seven got clicked or eight got clicked or nine got clicked <clears throat> this is really good when they're always all doing the same thing so what we could do i'm just going to leave seven eight nine there for i don't know legacy purposes or whatever but for the zero dot one two three four five six we're going to make it all become one function so public void we're gonna create it this time it's not gonna be click seven click eight click nine we're gonna be like uh, um num grid clicked okay 
and we're gonna also pass it the view view v it's perfectly fine so this time we just need to figure out which one got clicked and that's the view uh, the view v that's being passed notice that the the same way we did it here for the display everything inherits from the view so all we got to do is say create a button the button or actually wait for it import my class the button clicked right so this is the clicked i don't know <laughs> not the best naming clicked button there we go that's enough it kind of says what it is we're gonna give it the v uh, the view however again the view is not a button so all we need to do is typecast it and what's gonna happen is the view is gonna be passed in so whoever gets clicked is gonna be passed in as view v and this is like the hierarchy the big parent there that everything inherits basically let's say for now and because we as the programmer we know it's a button we are just gonna typecast it to a button obviously if it was something else and we typecast it to a button it might cause some issues but for now it should be fine so we typecast it to a button then what happens well we still need to add to the display appending the the character so currently seven eight nine right for the button seven eight nine well we notice that the text inside the button is actually the thing we want to um append to my display text so all we got to do is go grab the text that's inside that and append it to my display so my display dot append and we're going to grab the click button and get the text right simple as that and then the next thing we need to do is to go and set every one of these buttons well the six seven eight buttons from four five six one two three dot zero to trigger this event or trigger this function method whenever that event click happens so we go back to activity main and this time we're going to just do it st straight up from the code and we're going to go four where are you four four is right here and we're going to add on click set it to the num grid clicked perfect copy that actually let's make it oops let's make a copy like this so it'll go to the next line and we're going to keep adding it to every button inside my grid right and we don't need to know what they are it's gonna be dynamic or what would be the best word it would be um, polymorphism to the maximum where depending on the button clicked it will change so if we go back and run this let me just even stop it run it let's give it a second and let's go back to the code by the way, just remember I put the on click event for all the buttons on my grid, not the C plus minus or whatever. And uh, this is what happens inside my function whenever it gets triggered. So I press 4. 4 comes as the V. We typecast the V as to a button. It's a view, we typecast the button. And on the display on top, we say append that buttons whatever the text is the text is what's being shown here four see four five six three two five one zero dot 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 uh, eventually oh <clears throat> sorry obviously there is some issues here we didn't do any logic in there but everything we press will go on top and here's the seven eight nine that we didn't change right you know what this seems meaningless code we could just grab those delete them Go back in activity main and do the same thing. Where is uh, 789? There we go. So delete that part, paste that. All right. And now if we run it again, just 
give it a second and we press seven eight nine that still works perfect all right guys so if you notice if I didn't do this I would have had at least uh, 12 or 11 11 functions just for a simple displaying of a number okay so this is how we make use of this view that's being passed into that signature which is amazing makes our life easier this is what we want i hope you guys learned something see you guys in the next video cheers